Hey friends, hope all is well. Um, I hope you're nurturing yourself as Archangel Gabriel is telling us to. So I found this really interesting um, as I was guided to go through um, this astrological deck. So the message of Aquarius uh, that we get in the past card is the experimental, the rational, unique, liberal, eclectic, electric, group-oriented, humanitarian, free radical, eccentric, diverse, futuristic, utopian. <laughs> um, it can also be disruptive, edgy. Um, there could be a lot of detachment, right, with the age of Aquarius um, that has, you know, kind of like came in with a powwow, right? It's just like explosion. Um, also, lots of fabulousness. <laughs> Maybe like a change in decor and how you, you know, it's kind of like view life, right? Um, it could be doing things on your own term. Um, this is very powerful inspiration. As you can see, it's called the innovator. Um, it's a time of great inventions as well, right? And it could all be for the good, and it can also be somewhat kind of uh, destructive. Um, but it could be destructive in a good way to kind of like bring things uh, down so that more of a process of renewal can start. Um, we see the conjunction, right? So this, obviously, there was a great conjunction and the effects are still with us, you know, it's for long term because the birth of this new era, this new earth that we are in, it's a whole, you know, series of uh, processes um, for the collective conscious and also for the world within the, um, the physical reality. Um, as well as in the outer aspects of the different parallel dimensions are all affected by what is happening here. Um, so this talks about combines with and enhances, strengthens joint forces, um, activates lots of activations. Uh, last night was super, super powerful. Um, you know, I was visiting a friend and I actually felt so tired. I said, I need to take a little rest. And then all of a sudden, um, my hands started getting so much energy, tingling sensations everywhere. And, you know, I am definitely a, what do you call a natural uh, born healer. And it's so interesting because I don't really use, you know, that part of the gifts that I do have, but obviously, um, I'm definitely doing more meditations and activating, uh, sending out good positive energy through my hands. And obviously, you know, this is something that I feel I have to do more, especially when you get an activation like that. So if you ever feel that, um, you know, definitely it's, you might want to look into Reiki, um, or you might want to just work with, you know, the the actual spirit, you know, that is actually working with you, you know, we, you can call it, you know, the spiritual forces of the universe, you can call it um, angels. Um, there's so many different aspects to what could be leading us to do certain things. And just know that our bodies are definitely connected to the same elements of space and the stardust. I mean, the when they say the universe is within you it, it's really um it's literal <laughs> you know it's uh all the different parts of our body is connected to the outer planets and you know they definitely have a um a strong connection uh to us and uh, you know that's why we look at the chakra system it's so uh, powerful because you can see the planetary um influence on the meridian points within our body and also in the you know parts of our subconscious realms um, is influenced as well and that's the same thing in kabbalah you know the tree of life consciousness um although is you know seems to be outside of us within another portal that we're accessing through prayer it's also within inside of us you know which is really really cool and that in itself is very similar to the chakra point um so you know there's a lot of um 
you know, uh, <laughs> overwhelming situations that could be going through right now. And then we have the opposition, right? I mean, as we know, there is a lot of opposition to all of the things that are happening right before us. Some people, they don't want the old world to leave. They're very comfortable with what they know, right? It's almost like, you know, a stubborn Taurus sometimes, right? They don't want any changes, but change is necessary. It's there for evolutionary growth, um, expansion of, you know, the spiritual alignment of the karmic wheel that's turning, you know, one chapter is done, the next one has to begin. Um, and so this talks about um, how it relates to mirrors, um, you know, and I would believe that the mirror would be the reflection of, you know, pretty much who we are. Um, what we put out is what we get. Um, you know, what is really interesting is that the laws of cause and effect and what comes after is definitely heightened up. You know, we are actually going through the karmic lessons on a faster scale. Um, so you definitely want to focus on definitely doing all that you can to sort of not just manifest abundance, but also to manifest good karma. You know, this is a great time where, you know, when we see the intensity of negative energy, um, we want to like say, okay, how can I shift this into something positive? How can I actually take something that seems destructive, turn it around and sort of rebuild something? Because we might not be able to rebuild what was just kind of turned down or tore down rather, but we can look to something, we can help someone, we can do something, you know, that is something that you have to keep on your mind. And, you know, if that's not an option, you know, you can actually remember that our words are very, very powerful. Abracadabra, I love saying abracadabra um, because it's I create what I speak. It's a real Aramaic phrase term. And that shows us the power of just language in general. I mean, obviously the Aramaic and Hebrew language is super powerful and very magical. Uh, as we understand Kabbalah, the worlds were made out of the Hebrew letters. Um, so anyway, uh, but remember every other language comes right after and they all have, you know, very powerful effects. So this is a time to, you know, discipline yourself, right? And go through those tests and call out the negativity once you see it, you know, and say, I know there is something good in this. I know that the light is overpowering the darkness and something amazing is about to happen. You know, you say that and even if you don't feel it, it shifts the energy of the vibration of the frequency of everything that is happening in that moment. And literally you just sort of like, you know, it's the best way of being proactive. It's sort of like that idea, set it and forget it. I always like that phrase. You know, you set that intention, you forget what's happening and you just move on. And um, so I asked Archangel Gabriel to kind of give us like extra information. You know, what is with this Aquarius energy, right? So Archangel Gabriel says, ask for what you want. Clear communication with yourself, with God, and with others helps you avoid misunderstandings and speeds up the process of answered prayers. So how cool is that? And, you know, I like the fact that the moon is in the background here. And Archangel Gabriel is actually the angel that is connected to the moon. There's some cultures that believe Archangel Gabriel is feminine. Um... And, you know, in the Hebrew scriptures, we have uh, Archangel Gabriel as masculine. And what's interesting about this is that angels don't really have a gender, but they do appear to certain people in many different ways. Um, so it's very possible that Archangel Gabriel appeared to many people in the feminine aspect. 
uh, whereas other times he appeared as masculine. And remember, God is both feminine and masculine. <laughs> and as above, so below. And, you know, just a little FYI, Adam uh, was, you know, um, had, was actually an androgynous being, right? So that's kind of interesting. Um, now let's look at nurture yourself, right? And that's the understanding with the great conjunction that happened, right? The after effects. Investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later. Uh, if, if you notice the angel, she is sitting on, you know, something and it's, it's an interesting kind of chair, but her hands are pointed toward these books. You know, are you guided to any particular reading material lately? And what's also interesting is beyond that two books, you can see that there's a journal. And I think journaling is one of the best things you can do right now. You can wake up in the morning. You can write about your feelings, um, all that, you know, you are thankful to the universe for. You know, the pen is mightier than the sword. Right. And when we talk about speech and how powerful that is, also writing is very, very powerful. We're actually, you know, we're actually creating a whole new world with everything that we write down. Um, so that's why, you know, it, it's a very powerful tool to write down, you know, our gratitude, our mantras. We can come up with new mantras in a state of inspiration early in the morning. So that's why the ancients always start their morning with mantras, prayer, reflection, journaling. And, you know, I actually woke up this morning and I spoke about all the interesting things that I thought that was great and helpful for me and that I was thankful for, that I was looking forward to more. Uh, and, you know, it's like so interesting because like something happens later on and it's like whoa <laughs> and uh inspiration okay so the opposition that you could be feeling brings in inspiration it says yes your idea is divinely inspired take action accordingly to set it into motion so you know and it's funny, you see the angel, like, talking to this lady. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, so Archangel Gabriel is saying yes. Um, they, you know, he's sure about that. So anyway, um, I thought this would be an interesting uh, type of reading to share with you guys. And um, I actually was not you know, necessarily thinking of using this per se, but I just, you know, these cards are really, really interesting. It's called the, um, the Luminous Astro Deck. And um, it's pretty much a astrology oracle um, deck. And you know, I kind of like to play around with it at times. And, you know, it's very, very interesting. I actually have other um, oracle astrology decks, um, you know, some that I don't really like so much and some that I like more. And um, I guess you guys will see that in the near future. Anyway, I want to wish you guys a Hag Purim. Um, you know, it's really a powerful uh, day. If you saw the video that I posted yesterday on Esther and the star card in the tarot, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a day of liberation and freedom from all who want to pretty much destroy our well-being and even our physical life, you know, and, and you could feel pressure coming in from so many different sides and thinking like, where is God in this picture? But God is always there, you know, in the details. We might not always see it, but in the end, once we have that, you know, um, salvation that comes in, you know, that grace that like comes and takes over Hesed, basically, we get to see and what we went through and our faith became stronger, right? So definitely make sure that you are feeding yourself spiritually, nurture yourself with all that is happening, and you will feel more inspired despite what's going on. 
Okay, everyone. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye for now.